Good morning. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a custom section or really any section. A lot of themes come with uh, very developed, um, very nice uh, built-in sections for the home page, um, or you can have a developer you know, build out a custom section for you, um, or you could perhaps purchase um, pre-built sections from some other source. So I'm gonna show you if you have a section and you wanna use it on a custom page somewhere else, anywhere around your theme, I'm gonna show you how to install it there. Um, and I'm also going to explain a little bit uh, some of the basic sort of uh, high level concepts um, to help you understand what's really going on here. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get started and do a screen share. All right, so here we have a standard Shopify dashboard. Uh, this is the theme that I wanna add it to. So uh, what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go into the customizer. Um, and just for kind of high level reference, I have uh, a product here and I want to basically add a custom section to the bottom of this product. Let me show you how it looks right now. Um, and so I have this product and I would basically like to add um, a custom section here below it um, to demo this custom section so that people when they come to the page can actually see what it looks like. Um, so what I'm currently, where I currently have it is I currently have it on the, the home page. Um, so if you see, um, I have this row where it pulls in, it generates this embedded podcast uh, row here. Um, and so I'd like to show that, showcase that on the product page as well. So how to do it? Uh, from, you go to theme actions, edit code, you can also get to it uh, from the parent kind of themes page. Um, I'll show you, it's right here under edit code, actions, edit code. So either of those two places um, will get you to the online theme editor. And so what we're first gonna do is make a custom template for this product um, because we'll need a container uh, for the section to live in and it needs to be uh, unique in that it'll only be applied to that product. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. So now we have a new custom product template. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just, just show you how this ties in. Um, show you, put in a little header tag, just with the big word test. Um, so you see that the product that I'm gonna apply this to, at first, uh, there it is. Um, and actually that, that wouldn't normally be showing there except I had previously applied this template to it so it looks like it automatically got applied. Um, so what you would normally do is after you create this custom template, then you go to the product and then you apply it here and then that's when you begin seeing this uh, test show up. So I know it kind of skipped the step uh, just because I previously created this in a table in the video. So it's okay, well. All right, so moving on. So we have now our custom template applied to our product and that's showing up there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is add our custom section to this template that's only applied to that one product. So we're gonna go find the section that we wanna add. So right here called simple Spreaker row. You can see it there has its CSS, um, the HTML markup, and then uh, the schema in JSON as well. So all we're gonna do is add section, simple Spreaker row, like so. And so now on our custom product template, it has the default product information as well as an additional section for the Spreaker row. So I'm gonna come back in here through the customizer and explain how the data side of this works. Um, so the sections that we have here on the home page, um, these what we, we call the uh, dynamic sections since an end user or a merchant, um, these can be added or removed from the home page and contain separate instances of the data. So example, I could have multiple freelance podcast rows here on the home page, all pulling in different uh, podcasts from Spreaker. So they would have different content here 
um, and they could live side by side. Um, versus uh, where they share the same data. So anywhere else that you put one around the theme is uh, going to automatically have different data. So you can see how this one has demo podcast row and similar to the other one I had previously built this section. So it just pulled it in automatically. Normally you would go ahead and populate this uh, with the information um, that you need, um, which I'm pulling from just the, the Spreaker. That's the link. And then it generates the embed for you uh, right there. So you would just copy that and paste that into here to generate this widget. And then anywhere else that we included this simple Spreaker row. So if we included this on um, another product or a custom page, if we wanted to have a page for podcasts, um, we could include this. And then the thing to know is that it would automatically have the same data that this one has. So if we wanted to, let me refresh here so we can see it. If we wanted to have uh, this demo one, say on the product page, and then um, an additional podcast page where we listed all of them, we'd need to duplicate this so that there could be separate instances of the data. Um, and that would be as simple as coming into here, copying and pasting this, uh, doing a new section, say simple Spreaker row two, um, and then pasting it in there. And then I would usually update the name just for clarity's um, sake when you're adding it. Um, and then the other thing I would also do is remove the preset. Um, so that way it no longer shows up there on the home page um, as an option to add because there's no reason for us to have those duplicated there. So if you wanted to do this, you could save that and then add it to a secondary product or you know a page template. Um, and then also you know you could have the Spreaker simple groups section uh, simple Spreaker row two, and then that way you could reuse it as many times um, as you wanted around the site on as many custom templates. And just for completeness sake, uh, the rest of these are ones that, that came standard with a the theme. This is the standard uh, supply theme. So you can see that there's quite a nice list of um, pre-built sections for you. And what, what you could do using the information in this video is then go and apply those to any uh, product template, any collection template, any page template, any custom blog or article template, um, and include any of these sections that you already had, um, any custom ones that people have built, or kind of any pre-made or kind of DIY ones um, that you had acquired. <laughs> But uh, enjoy. That way you can really kind of tweak out and customize your Shopify store however you want, reusing um, the custom development and awesome layouts um, that you already have and really kind of use all these features to tweak out and customize all the other pages around your site uh, rather than just being limited to using them on the home page. So hope you've enjoyed. Hopefully that is helpful for you. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions, uh, things you run into, or requests for other topics for me to cover. Thank you. Stop recording.